to you guys and talk about <clears throat> friendships sometimes you develop relationships with people you know girlfriends or guy friends whatever the situation may be and people tend to start drifting away you're doing your thing they're doing their thing and but you'll notice they're starting to pull more away from you than you from them and a lot of times that's because people can't handle your greatness never ever assume that you did something wrong especially when you know there's been no argument, no dispute, there's been no altercation, there's been nothing between you and this person. Nothing other than they just turned out the blue on you. That all of a sudden now, they have no need to deal with you, they're not really interested in vibing with you. Nothing happened. It's because they can't handle your greatness. Um, people see you flourishing and you having ideas and you having dreams that they can't even fathom. They'll tend to pull away from you. They'll tend to um, become distracted by that and it'll bother them to the point where they'll feel like, oh, you know, she trying to take off in another direction or, oh, he's trying to be somebody. I don't, don't want to be around them. And you also have people in this world who feel like as long as they're doing better than you, they have one up over on you. But as soon as you start dreaming big, you start believing in yourself, you start holding yourself accountable, you start doing the things that you don't need nobody else to do. Like what friends normally do, hold you accountable, call you out on your shit, you know, that kind of thing. When you start doing that for yourself, people have a problem. People have a problem with it. They really do. And it's only because they are afraid, like I said, of your greatness. They know that you are going somewhere that they can't go. And it's not because they don't have the, the willpower or the knowledge to go there. It's because they just feel like where they are is good enough. Anytime you're dealing with complacent people and that complacent spirit, you have to remove yourself from the equation anyway. So when those people pull away from you, take it as a blessing. It's nothing but a blessing when somebody pulls away from you and you know you've done nothing wrong to them. Something great is about to happen to you that they will not be able to understand. They won't be happy for you. They won't um, congratulate you. And don't you know that when God blesses you with something or when he moves you in the right direction to meet good people and people that can support you and be there for you, those so-called friends you previously were dealing with are gonna fade away. They're gonna fade away. But when you about your business, you on your A game, you about making power moves, it's gonna bring you about money, bring you happiness, bring you um, peace of mind. You'll notice that those people are just never in the equation. It's not even that you're trying to exclude them. It's just God don't have them in the plan. They're not in the plan. And we have to be receiving to the plan that God has for us. And for a long time, I used to have a great, great, great loyalty to people where I was just like, you know, oh, I've been down with them for so long, da da da. That's my best friend. That's that, this, that, that. Let me tell you something. In life, you have to grow. And some people are afraid to grow. Some people are afraid to change. They're not ready to grow. They're not ready to change. They are set in their ways. And it's not that you love them any less. It's just that God is moving me in a direction that I must go. And you can't come along. You can't come along for the ride. You can't be a part of what's about to happen. And I think we just have to really, really start thinking about those things because people are afraid of you. Are you becoming something big? People are afraid of that. And that's why you can't share your dreams with everybody because everybody's not going to be happy for you. Everybody's not going to um, 
be like oh my god you can do that you totally can do this you got the personality for it or you got the drive and ambition for it. look how smart you are you got this everybody's not gonna be like that and these are people that you call your friends that are not gonna be like this for you that's why it's so important not to um put all your faith in people but keep all your faith and your trust in god because at the end of the day he is the one that's going to deliver you to your ultimate goal you know he's the one that's going to give you that dream and that desire that you so you know been yearning for so you know i, I just say all that to, to say it's so important to you know understand the gift of goodbye and don't be afraid to let people go and don't and don't be upset when people let you go because when people release themselves and dealing with you that's nobody but god moving you moving you forward keeping you moving in the right direction sometimes you have to remove all those little distractions around us so that we can get a total total focus on what it is he wants us to do I learned that the hard way honestly I did because I used to like I said deal with certain people that I know truly were not happy for me for example you go to school to become a nurse and somebody else is still working as a CNA and you try to throw up in their face that you're a nurse now you know every time they get around you you're puffing out your chest because you're a nurse now let me tell you something about being a nurse it ain't no lavish job. You ain't going to get rich from it unless you, you know, you might can make a lot of money if you want to get out here and work, you know, so many hours a day, be tired all the time, never have any leisure activity time or any um, extra time for your family or anything like that, you know, or you could be a travel nurse where you're always gone. I mean, I want to travel, but I don't want to travel and work as a nurse. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying for me personally, but to each his own. I just feel like sometimes people get into these places or God blesses them or move them ahead a little bit and they start getting a big head like, oh, I'm better than you. I'm doing way better than you. I got this behind my name. But guess what? If you are a nurse, LPN or RN, don't matter. If you are a nurse and you making good money and you doing your thing, let you tell it or whatever the situation may be, and that CNA has a peace of mind. She has time for her family. She's traveling all the time. She's enjoying life and she's still paying her bills. She's still living a better life than you. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes we have to put things in perspective. You know, trying to, you know, be in a position all the time around your friends where you feel like you're doing bigger and better things than them or you're better than them or you've achieved more than them. That's not a real friendship. And when those people pull away from you because they feel like you're excelling or exceeding um, the bar, just, just let them go. Let them go. There is nothing worse than having somebody around you who truly in their heart is not happy for you, but envious of you and envious of everything you got going on. You know, some people always say, oh, you got help. You got a husband. Let me tell you something, honey. I prayed for my husband, okay? I waited on my husband, okay? I didn't go out there looking for different men to sleep with every night. I was by myself for a long time before I met my husband, before we started becoming friends. And even when we became friends, we didn't talk every day. It was every now and then, a conversation here. Maybe I'll, he'll text me and I'll look at it, ignore it. Um, you know, he'll call me up. You know, he truly pursued me like a man's supposed to. And he, he let me know that, you know, he was really, really um, into me and in tune with getting to know me. So that's how that progressed. But I was by myself for a long time. So people tell me, oh, you got help, honey. Let me tell you something. I had help before my husband because I had God, okay? He was helping me. <laughs> I know what it's like to work three jobs, get out here and grind and hustle and pay my own bills. I ain't never been the type of woman to sit on my hands. So when people bring up the fact that I have a husband or you got help, that really irks me a little bit. Because even though I have a husband, he has a wife too, okay? It goes both ways. We, we are, I'm a helpmate to him and he's a help to me. <laughs> we help each other. And so when you know you have, um, like I said, associates, friends, or people around you who tend to come at you sideways with that negativity and, you know, trying to make you feel less than, honey, it is time to go. It is time to give them the gift of goodbye. It is time to go and grow. Because sometimes you you find yourself um, unable to get to your next destination or your next goal 
because you are around these people who are basically hindering you. We need to also take a look at the people around us. What, is, what, what does our, our group and our circle look like? What is our surroundings looking like? You know what I'm saying? You know, when you start looking at that more and start, you know, getting in tune with who you dealing with and who you letting inside your, um, your, your circle and who you letting inside your life, period, that negative vibe and that spirit, you know, it, it'll tell you a lot about why things are not progressing along as fast as they could be. You just really have to cut people off and, you know, even when they cut you off, be okay with that. Be like, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you because I needed that. Because in order for me to grow, I had to let you go or you had to let me go so that I could grow. God has to intervene for us because we'll procrastinate. We'll um, slow drag our feet. And God is the whole time, he's, he's there the whole time telling us, hey, this is not a good, a good situation here. This is not good. You need to let this person go. They're not for you. They're not happy for you. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you glow up. But you stay, you stay right there and you keep sitting there and keep sitting there. And then you and then a whole year has passed you by. And you sitting there contemplating and now thinking, now doing some deep thinking, like, dang, why am I not further ahead? Why are none of the goals I'm setting for myself being accomplished? is because you got all these roadblocks around you. People can be roadblocks to your success. I'm telling you, as someone who knows, people can be roadblocks. And I've learned to let go and let God, and I've learned that everybody is not for me, and when they aren't for me, it's no love loss. I can't get my emotions all caught up in the fact that you really don't want to see me win because me winning makes you feel like it diminishes something from you. See, real friends know that when you win, we all win because I want to see you glow up. I want to see you get where you're trying to go because it lets me further know I can go somewhere too. That my dreams are possible because guess what? He did it for my friend. He did it for my sis. He did it for my brother. Yes, I know I can do this too. But when people are not happy for you, keep them, keep them away. Honestly, just keep them away. And like I said, when people want to get around you because your greatness scares them, let them go. Because you don't want fearful people in your circle anyway. You don't want that fear around you either. You want strong warrior type people, people that go hard for you, people that are your biggest, biggest cheerleaders. You know what I'm saying? You want those type of people around you, encouraging you to keep grinding, keep hustling, keep going harder than you went the day before. You know what I'm saying? Those are the kind of people you want to keep around you to keep you motivated, to keep your mind set on what it is you're trying to accomplish. And that's really what I just wanted to say, Double M's. I just wanted to have a moment with you guys.